information, yeah. She befriended a Nigerian via social media QQ but never met him. He promised an all-expense trip to Kuala Lumpur and all she had to do was deliver a bag containing sample kits to his contact. She collected the bag off a street in Guangzhou, China and flew into the LCCT terminal on October 13, 2014 and was arrested on arrival. In April this year, the 23-year-old Chinese national was sentenced to death for drug smuggling. Her mother is now in Kuala Lumpur to see MCA Public Services and Complaints Department head Dato Sri Michael Chong and file a complaint against the drug scammers. Chong wants the public to be street smart and not be fooled by these scammers and to think twice before taking anything for free. Despite of my press conference can I say warning, at least three press conference to warn the not to be tricked. I have five cases this year. Okay? So this is the thing there. Just now, like Madam Chong, uh, what she told me, the daughter, before he come to this country, the daughter very happy because got free air ticket. Uh, okay? Same thing, our people here, these are uh, 9 plus 5, 14 people since last year, also very happy because why? Go overseas, China there, go holiday, free ticket, everything free. Okay? So I want to let you know that your free holiday and free everything free. You come back to Malaysia. Uh, the, I think either you go to uh, this uh, Sungai Pulu jail or Gadang jail is waiting for you. Huh? So motors and brandy, ammo, motors and brandy, very easy. Huh? This all these youngster, watch out. Huh? If you see any advertisement in the newspaper, say that uh, high salary. Uh, and all these things, overseas uh, opportunity, in fin uh, this, uh, what you call that, uh, uh, fringe benefit, overseas, please be careful. He stressed things that are free can come with a heavy price.